Riddle me this, what comes as one STL, creates two pieces, and uses an extension of aluminum extrusion to create something cool? Well, I tell you what, if you want to hear the answer, stick with me, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. This episode of Design Talk, I wanted to share with you this new pedestal design that I came up with for the Amazon Echo Dot. Uh, now, I designed this up in Fusion 360, and before we get into the actual uh, physical print, let's jump into the computer a little bit. Let's take a look at how I designed it, and then we'll come back here at the bench. So, to the computer. Okay, we've jumped into the computer now, and the idea here is to share with you the simplicity of this design. Designs don't have to be complicated to be useful, and that's where a lot of people sort of get wound around the axle thinking, hey, I've got to create this complicated thing, and then they get frustrated. The idea is to simply create something which is useful. And so with this, we're actually doing double duty. As you see here, it's only one body. We're going to actually print this twice and place it on each end of the 2020 rail one is going to act as the base and one's going to act as the top support now this body is created by only three sketches so we've created a base which matches the base of the echo dot so again depending upon the shape orientation and everything or what you want to hold you would simply match that to that object so pretty straightforward the second piece is we need a way to connect the two, and here we're using an extrude of the 2020 shape. So this is just a 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter box oversized a little bit to allow the extrusion to slide into it. And then finally what we're doing is we're creating a 3 millimeter uh, modeled threaded hole to cinch this down if we need to. Now the other piece about this that I just love about Fusion 360 is its ability to fill it. And as you can see here, we have a major fillet around on the outside of this again this is for aesthetics it gives it a nice clean look I really like this now I've left it up here just to be a 90 degree angle and that's because what I'm going to do is laser cut some foam to put on there both the bottom and the top to prevent marring on the bottom and again to provide a non skid surface on the top again really easy we're just going to double this twice um, the other piece here is for added strength as well as aesthetics we've added it to the 2020 side and then we've also cleaned up for aesthetics up here another fillet to again kind of balance out the overall look and, and this is the real power so if you look at a lot of the early 3d printed stuff um, it didn't have fillets fillets to me is what makes an object look professional and fusion 360 does it the best of any for the money and so this is one of the reasons I've jumped in with Fusion 360 even though it has cost me it is well worth it for the features the other piece that we've also added in is a small fillet in here to allow the 2020 extrusion to slide in a little bit easier so again this is probably more of a functional than an aesthetic addition so kind of a long story short as you can see very easy this was designed in a matter of minutes actually this video has has taken me longer to make than it did for me to create this object however the key piece is as actually coming up with the concept in your mind now again if you look for very simplistic things and solutions uh, you know they abound out there so this is where 3d printing and additive manufacturing really shine so I tell you what let's jump back to the bench let's take a look at the finished product and talk about it a little bit more so I'll see you over there Okay, welcome back. So as you saw in the computer how we designed this, now what I did is I actually printed this out twice, pretty simple, straightforward. And as mentioned in the design, you know, we have the 2020 opening here. And then obviously as mentioned in the video, we have the M3 screw here hole. Now you really don't need to use that. If you want to use it, you can. It's a pretty tight fit, or at least for me it's a, it's a pretty tight push fit. And again, we kind of put it together like this. And again, what you want to do is you want to line up the, or at least I do, want to line up so the screw holes match, and so they'll point to the back, and if you do have the screws. Now, uh, I laser cut some craft foam to put on here for anti-marring and to, you know, be kind of like, uh, to grip the desk surface that sits on. Same basic stuff as I use for this orange pad here. Uh, and again, if you don't have a laser cutter, you can just lay and use a utility knife or use some other means to cut it. And again, the Echo sits on top. 
and you have this really neat looking pedestal. Now, I chose this height. You can go shorter, you can go taller. Uh, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. And actually, I've got a few other projects in mind to make this even cooler in future videos. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. It will be out on Thingiverse in my mini factory. So if you want to download this and print your own version or modify it, uh, it'll be out there with the Fusion files. And hey, Swag Shop's up there. Subscribe over there. And if you got any more ideas like this, hit me up in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And we'll catch you guys in the next video where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.